Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again, and today's video is going to be a special one. We are doing a top 10 list on the best Twisted Metal characters of all time. Also, make sure to stay tuned to the end because I do have a special community input uh, where I'm going to put some of you guys at the end of the video, so I hope you enjoy it, and I think it's going to be something I'm going to be doing for every future kind of top 10 or tier list type video where I include some type of question within the community discord and I take your answers and put them in the video. So with that though, I do want to also give a quick disclaimer as to my criteria for this top 10 list. First of all, this obviously is going to have a little bit of some bias because it is my list, but as I've always stated in the past, my opinion does not matter. If you disagree with my list, that is totally fine. And I want to hear your top 10 in the comment section below. Next, I am not going to be including any bosses, and that's basically any playable boss. So I'm not going to include Dark Tooth, Minion, Juggernaut from Twist Metal 2012 or anything like that. Mainly just because they'd be too obvious as being they're extremely broken and they're going to be top tier, so I just decided to exclude them from the list altogether. This is only going to be a list based off the vehicle, not the character behind said vehicle. I've stated this in the past that when you talk about Twist Metal characters, Nine times out of ten, you're talking about the vehicle, like the special weapon, how the vehicle plays in the game. You're not necessarily just talking about the person driving the character or their story slash wish they asked for at the end of the game. So that's what I'm talking about here is which character feels the best to play as and has the best special weapon and doesn't take the most amount of skill to actually pick up and play. That is the whole point of this list. So going on to number 10. Going down the list, we're starting with Mr. Zombie in Twisted Metal 4. Mr. Zombie is a very unique character. This was actually the very first time, and from my recollection, the only time we have seen a celebrity, a real person from real life, showing up in a Twisted Metal game as a playable character. Rob Zombie, if you didn't know, is a very famous metal musician. Some of his music has been featured in the Twisted Metal games over the years, and he's a, basically a huge icon for the series. Has he actually played the games himself? I kind of doubt it, but if he has, that'd be amazing. But either way, you can still play as him as Mr. Zombie in Twisted Metal 4, and it's pretty cool. He's also just insanely good. Even without the mods that we've been oh so graciously gifted upon us from Pedro, even in the vanilla game, Mr. Zombie is still one of the strongest contenders if you're excluding any of the boss characters. His special weapon consists of a floating flaming skull that not only brings in enemies to it, but does damage along with it and it explodes and causes them to erupt into flames. Just by hearing that, if you've never seen it, it may sound overpowered and that's because honestly it is. It's a little bit ironic though because in the game every special weapon kind of feels pretty weak or that they definitely should have been buffed a little bit with how big the health pools are. But Mr. Zombie feels like the only one that actually feels balanced, but because every other character special is so weak, he just feels overpowered compared to them. And not only that, but he's not very bad in terms of his handling or his speed either. He's pretty much middle of the road. Not terrible, but not amazing. But his special weapon just puts him over the top as probably one of the most broken characters in the entire game, again, excluding the boss characters. And if it was to be honest, even if it wasn't being driven by Mr. Rob Zombie himself, I still would have put him at number 10 on this list just because of how fun he is to play in Twist Metal 4. And he's definitely one of my go-tos whenever I just want to have an easy tournament. So that's why he lands at number 10. Moving on to number 9 is going to be Club Kid in Twisted Metal 3. This one might be kind of a surprise. A lot of people are probably disliking the video already because you're putting a Twisted Metal 3 character in a top 10 list. But just, just hear me out on this one. Even though Twist Metal 3 isn't regarded as one of the best games in the series, and I totally understand why, you have to look at this objectively that his character, his vehicle, has got to be one of the greatest characters of all time in the entire series because of his special weapon alone. Club Kid doesn't have the best armor, he doesn't have the best speed, he has decent handling though for Twist Metal 3 to be honest, and I love the design of his vehicle. I know I'm not really taking account of the character behind the wheel or the design of the character itself. This is mostly based off just their pure power and brokenness. However, that is the biggest reason for him being at number 9 on this list, is his special is incredibly just straight up broken. You use his little tornado just like Twister and Twisted Metal 2, or Head On, or Small Brawl, 
But instead of the cars attaching to the top of your roof and spinning around, it potentially could do damage to you to get out of said special. No, 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 no. Club Kid drops essentially a whirlpool behind him that attracts really heavily any vehicle in the entire game. The bigger the vehicle, the easier they seem to be to be attracted to said portal. It can pick up anybody who's in range, so you can have up to seven characters at once in this tornado, smashing against each other and doing insane amount of damage. And not only that, but it explodes after a few seconds, doing more damage. <laughs> just It just ends up being insane. I can't tell you how many times in playthroughs where I've got against Club Kid and he's immediately killed me in one hit of his special weapon. And it's only because if you're unlucky enough to be in vicinity of other characters, they're going to continuously ram you over and over again while in his special, thus just doing insane amounts of damage. On top of that, other characters can continue to fire weapons and shoot each other while they're in the special. And based on TM3's AI, they do tend to hurt each other and fight each other when you're not around. So if you do drive away from the special and you have all three or all four remaining enemies in one special weapon, they will fight each other while they're in there doing double damage essentially and giving you assists on these kills. So yeah, Club Kid by far, just for his special alone, I think is easily a good contender to be at number nine on this list. And moving on to number eight is going to be Dark Side from Twisted Metal 2012. I had to be honest that I was just trying to look for a character to add on this list from 2012 because I feel that the game is sort of underrated and deserves at least one character to be on this spot. But then I really looked into it and I remembered Dark Side and honestly, they are incredibly broken. If you guys know Juggernaut from 2012 and how extremely broken they are, Dark Side's basically the little brother of Juggernaut. Their ram damage alone could be their special weapon, and in reality it technically is because their special weapon is the same from Twist Metal Black, where Dark Side honks their horn and rams into their opponent at full speed, doing a sizable amount of damage. But even if you don't use their special, just ramming into somebody is probably the most devastating hit of damage you can do in this game. It's actually crazy. And you also have two other special weapons at your disposal. You can switch between a turret that pops up on top of your vehicle, and if you can get every single bullet to hit somebody, it does more damage than outlaws in this game. Or you can even have these mines that drop behind you, just like Juggernaut drops, and those can do a sizable amount of damage as well. Not only that, but Darkseid has one of the best armor plates in the entire game, so it takes a ton of hits to destroy them, and they're really not that slow and sluggish either. That kind of comes down to the gameplay itself, but 2012 is just so tight and nice that you really, I don't have any complaints about any characters handling in this game, but Darkseid is no slouch whatsoever. I feel like they're very quick, they're very nimble, for being a semi that is, and again, with the added benefit of their ram damage and the amount of armor that they have at their disposal, they are insanely busted. Anybody can pick up and play Darkseid in 2012, and I think they are easily the best character in the game, and that's why they're being put at number eight on this list. Moving on to number seven is Warthog from Twisted Metal 1. Now, Twisted Metal 1 is notorious for having some weird kind of glitches with the ram damage on certain vehicles. Dark Side is one that always comes to mind for me, but the number one spot of broken vehicles in this game has to go to Warthog. Obviously, this would have went to Minion if I was including bosses, but since we're just going over the vanilla characters, Warthog easily takes the cake here. They do have a really decent special off the bat, which is just three fire missiles. That has become an iconic kind of vision for the rest of the game series, wherever Warthog makes an appearance, except for TM4 for some weird ass reason. And not only that, but he's in a really strong military vehicle. So he's got a ton of armor. He's kind of sluggish, not the fastest in the game. And his handling is pretty mid. But if you can get past the mid handling and the low speed of this vehicle, everything else is just insanely busted. And of course, coming back to the ram damage. He doesn't even need a special weapon in this game. He could just have hammerhead special where if you touch somebody, they die. That's pretty much his special weapon. Because, yeah, you run out of ammo and you have probably the best weapon at your disposal, which is just the front of your vehicle. I don't know how this got past testing. It probably didn't. It must have been rushed at some point. But yeah, Warthog is by far the most broken character. Just touch and flick anybody and they'll die and you win. Let's move on. And moving on we shall to number 6, which is going to be Axel in Twisted Metal 2. I know some people might be surprised that this guy isn't lower on the list because he is insanely good. He's pretty much the definition of broken. The main thing is just like with Warthog in TM1, his ram damage is just notoriously broken in TM2. The only reason he's higher on this list and not 
any lower, for me at least, is because his armor still isn't that great. Which makes sense, I mean, he's literally open to the elements, he's a guy standing in between two wheels, in real life, like one missile to the chest and he'd be dead, so... It really doesn't make any sense for him to have good armor to begin with, but I digress. He still has really good handling for what TM2 offers. He has decent speed, and his armor isn't terrible, it just could be better. And the last little bit is his actual special weapon, which isn't ramming, by the way, <laughs> surprisingly. His special weapon is a shockwave, which is relatively good for crowd control. However, it doesn't do that much damage. Now, if you could spam his special like the AI Axel seems to do every time you go against him, then I might have him a little lower on this list, but for now, I am going to be leaving him at number 6, mainly because his special weapon is not that strong, but that ram damage, dude, it's absolutely insane. And now that we're halfway through the list, we are looking at Twister from Twisted Metal Small Brawl. I know some of you might be confused by this. Again, whoa, he's putting a Small Brawl character on the top 10 best of all time? Like, yes, yes I am, because this game is amazing, it deserves more love, and it has some really good-ass characters. And Twister is no slouch on this list. Because of their special weapon alone, I think they're more than adequate to be at number 5. But not only that, they have some insanely good speed, really good handling, and their armor really isn't that bad compared to other characters in this game. I would actually argue that Warthog and Spectre and Grimm all have less armor than Twister does. So you put the kind of medium to low tier armor, really good speed, really good handling, and her insanely broken special weapon, put that all together, and you have a devastating character to play as at your disposal, which is just nothing but pure fun because you're going to win every single time. Her special weapon is the same thing that we got in Twist Metal 2. However, it does not affect your handling, it doesn't affect your speed, and it does not affect you at all in terms of anybody being able to hurt you. The only way that an enemy can do damage to you while they're in their special is if they drop a landmine on you or try to freeze you. But if they end up not doing any of that, you're just doing a devastating amount of damage to everybody who's in your special because it not only does damage while they're spinning, but you will also chuck them afterward so you can end up killing them immediately if you're on a level like Treetop Rumble where you can throw people off to their death. And that's why for me Twister just feels extremely broken in this game but in the best way possible and it really kind of gets that sour taste out of your mouth after playing as Twister in Twisted Metal 2. So I have to say thank you Small Brawl for fixing Twister in my eyes and that's why Twister in Twisted Metal Small Brawl is going to be at number 5. Moving on to number four, we're getting down to the wire here. It's going to be Twisted Metal Black's John Doe, a.k.a. Roadkill. Roadkill, I've always said this in Twisted Metal Black, is the middle of the road character, but that does not mean by any means that they are bad or a terrible character. Quite the opposite. They're actually one of the best because anybody can pick up and play him and have a wonderful time because of just how broken his special weapon is. Not only that, but he has decent armor, really good handling, and he's pretty quick. There's really nothing bad about Roadkill into a Metal Black. Every other character that seems pretty decent, or at least has one great quality, usually has at least one downside to them, and that would be the reason why they're not on this list instead of Roadkill, because there's literally nothing bad about Roadkill into a Metal Black. The only downside to him is if you don't pick him, you end up having to go against him, and it is always hell. His special weapon consists of fire missiles that you charge up over time, and if you let go at the correct amount of time, it'll actually do double the amount of damage, essentially turning into blood missiles, like we saw return in 2012. And trust me, if you get all of those missiles lit up red and they turn into those blood missiles, it does a devastating amount of damage. It almost can take out half of Axel's health in one go, which is just insane to me that they <laughs> even allowed that past playtesting. Yes, it technically takes some skill to get that perfect hit, but if you're able to do it and time it correctly every single time, if you play the game enough, he can be easily the best character in the game. Moving on to number three is going to be Shadow in Twisted Metal 2. Shadow to me has always been a very iconic character because of them driving a hearse as well as just straight up being a badass. I love the purple and black contrast colors of Shadow's vehicles. And I've always loved the concept of a special weapon shooting a literal shadow at the enemy and you get a little bit of extra control with it where you can detonate it at will. And the closer the shadow is to the character before you detonate it, the more damage it does, essentially turning it into a skill shot, which feels very satisfying. But the main reason they're so high up on this list is not because of how cool they look or how well they handle, but actually because their special weapon is literally broken in Twisted Metal 2. 
If you shoot their special on an incline of any sort and you were to detonate it within range of an enemy, it does pretty much triple the amount of damage as it should. And that's why they're even more broken in my opinion than Axel with his ram damage. And not only that, if you rear fire it, I think it also does double damage as well. So if you do a rear fire on an incline, yeah, you're going to get like a one hit kill on Spectre or really anybody with lower end armor. So when you pair that amazingly broken special with the amount of range that it has, his decent handling, his decent speed, his decent armor, and his cool ass vehicle, I mean, you're just putting together a recipe of one of the best characters in the entire game, let alone the entire franchise. And that's why to me, Shadow in Twisted Metal 2 is at number three. All right, and at number two, we're looking at Darkseid from Twisted Metal Small Brawl. That's right, we have another Small Brawl character leading up to the top of the list here. And Darkseid is easily gonna be at the top of the list on Small Brawl characters because of just how insanely broken they are. Now I know at the beginning I said I wasn't going to include any unlockable boss characters, and honestly Darkseid could be a boss this game, I think he probably should have been with how broken he is. However, he's not a boss, so that's why I am including him on this list. Even though technically he's not a vanilla unlocked character at the beginning, you do have to find him throughout the playthrough to unlock his character. But yeah, he is amazing. He's just the jack of all trades character. He's super strong, he's really fast, he's got good handling, and his special is so broken that you literally can one tap kill any character who has medium to low health if you're good enough. The way a special works is just like in Twist Metal Black, you hit the button to start the special weapon, you hear the honk of his horn, you gain an extra speed boost, and you do extra damage with ramming people. The difference with Small Brawl's special, however, is it has an actual visual indicator showing when the special is activated in the front of the vehicle, and it lasts for a good, like, 10 seconds. So, if you actually can get multiple hits on one character by just going back and forth with one special, you can do an insane amount of damage, and like I said, it even one-tap people from full health. So, I don't know if it's just one of those balancing issues where they didn't notice it until after release, but it really feels to me that his special should have been cut in half in terms of how long it stays. But needless to say, he's still insanely fun to play, but he is by far the most broken character in the game, and that is why Darkseid lands at number two as the best characters in Twisted Metal. Alrighty, drum roll please for our number one spot of the best characters in Twisted Metal history. My pick has got to go to Crazy 8 in Twisted Metal Black. This is a very hard decision to come down to, and trust me, there was a lot of characters that I wish I could have put on this list that I personally love and enjoy playing as all the time. However, I had to look at this objectively, and I had to look at this from straight up. If I never played this series before, if I picked up this character, could I have a good time with them and enjoy them? Now, there is one part of my criteria, though, that I have to kind of throw out the window for this character to be placed at number one fairly. And that is that, technically, there is a skill gap to this character to actually unlock their full potential. But once you do, they are easily the best character in Twisted Metal Black, at least in my opinion. This was the first time we've seen Crazy 8 in the series, and I really wish that we saw him again. I hope that one day we do. I love the vehicle. I love the way it feels. I love the speed. Everything about Crazy 8 is a lot of fun to play as. He has decent armor. He has amazing handling. And again, he's a really fast vehicle. But the biggest benefit to playing as Crazy 8 by far is his special weapon. The ironic thing is in Twistmon Black, we do see Outlaw return, but they don't have their iconic taser special weapon. Instead, they pretty much gave it to Crazy 8. And the way that it works is you got these four prongs that come up on each corner of the vehicle, creating this force field essentially around your vehicle. And if somebody is within range of you, you hit the special weapon button, it connects to the vehicle within range, and does a little bit of electricity damage. Now, at first glance, it's pretty weak. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's kind of meh, if I'm being honest with you. And I remember growing up, even though his special weapon was really weak, I still loved playing as him just because of how fun his character was to drive around, and I liked the design that much. But with that being said, later on in life, I figured out that there was actually another element to Crazy 8 special that made it even stronger. If you were to connect to a vehicle with his special, if you rapidly press the special weapon button, you can do double the amount of damage the faster you tap it. So that made him so much better right off the rip. And then it was another few years later that I found out you can do triple the amount of damage with his special. And yes, I'm not even joking. If you are in range of somebody, if you're, let's say, right behind them, like they're right in front of you, if you triple tap the directional pad in the direction of where they are from you, so again, if they're in front of me, 
I triple tap up on the D-pad, you will see a little colored force field show up in the direction of where you press the D-pad. So for instance, if I triple tap up, you should see a little electricity field appear in front of the vehicle. If you triple tap to the right, you should see on the right of the vehicle and so on. Now, if the person is in front of you and you triple tap up and then you use your special weapon, now, if you're rapidly tapping the special weapon button, you will do literally triple the amount of damage. And you also get a visual indicator showing a purple electricity field, which just gives you a really huge sense of, damn, I am doing a lot of damage. And yes, you can literally one tap medium to small armored vehicles in Twist Metal Black if you stay within range as Crazy 8. His special is insanely busted if you learn this technique. Now I know, I said at the beginning, a lot of this criteria is based off who can just pick up and play a character and how broken they are and have a good time with them. But the reason I'm adding Crazy 8 to this list, and especially at number one, is not only just because of how fun they are to drive in this game and how well-rounded and balanced every other stat of his character is, but the fact that you can easily figure this out on your own just with accidentally pressing some buttons. And that's actually how I figured it out as a kid. It is written in the manual, actually, of like how to do this. I just never looked at the manuals growing up, so, you know, that was my own fault, I suppose. But yeah, literally anybody can pick up and play as Crazy 8 and, and accidentally have this happen. So the fact that that is possible just kind of goes to show that this character is amazing and rightfully deserves to be at the number one spot as the best character in the Twisted Metal series. So with all that being said, before the pitchforks and riots and all that stuff start up, I want to say that I wanted to add one last criteria to this list, and that is the community vote, or essentially the community pick of the best character in the series. Now in the Twist Metal Federation Discord, which if you're not a part of it, I'll have a link in the description below, and I'll be using this now for the future for other videos like this, I asked everybody in there to give me their personal favorite character in the entire series. And I got a lot more answers than I expected. I did not expect this many people to reply, so I'm going to try to include everybody here. I did go through and I tallied up what the consensus was for the best character in the series, essentially who said the same person this, the most amount of times. And funny enough, based off all of you guys' picks, the most picked character as the best one in the entire series was Shadow from Twisted Metal 2. So, if you don't like my pick as Crazy 8, maybe you agree more with the community with Shadow from TM2. Either way, both are amazing characters, I love them both, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed my list. Again, if you disagreed with the community and or me, let me know in the comment section below with your top 10 list of who you think is the best characters in the entire series. I always love seeing the discussions in the chat and I always love hearing your guys' thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to leave a like, share, and support as always, subscribe so you don't miss the next one, and we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. Before we head out, I want to give a huge special thank you to our channel members. These are amazing people who are wanting to support the channel and the content here. And if you want to do the same, you can click the little join button underneath every single new upload. And a becoming channel member not only supports me and the channel, but also gives you a ton of perks in doing so, including early access to new content, and being a part of exclusive polls and information that other people would not be able to access. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again so much for the love and support, and we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.